what are your plans for fixing the education system to remove politics from the classroom and get back to basics? Teaching children real math, strong language and grammar skills, and that failure is a reality in life and a chance to learn. Great comments, and uh, Pamela. So this is one of the key reasons I'm running. Uh, I'm deeply concerned about the, the NDP's ideological plan for our education system. I think there's already uh, too much politics in our classroom. I meet parents all the time who are mystified about their kids coming home and saying, accusing them of killing the planet because they work in the energy industry, for example, uh, or t coming home and telling them who they should vote for based on what their teachers told them. You know, uh, I meet parents every day and, and teachers who find this growing trend towards politicization in the classroom somewhat troubling. And I'm deeply concerned that will only accelerate under the uh, NDP's uh, curriculum rewrite, which is happening in secret and behind closed doors. For some weird reason, the NDP refuses to release the names of the so-called experts that they are consulting in this curriculum rewrite. Uh, <clears throat> and, and so, but we do know one thing. They have released a 13-page draft outline of the new K-12 social studies curriculum, which has a very heavy emphasis on all kinds of political correctness. Uh, basically, if, if all you knew about Canada was from this draft curriculum, you would think that Canada is just a terrible, unjust place of colonialism and oppression. It's just an awful place. Uh, there is zero content in that 13-page draft about subjects like normative Canadian history or Alberta history or the or Confederation. Here we are on the 150th anniversary of Confederation is not even mentioned. Not a single word about the development of parliamentary democracy. Not one word about the rule of law, which is the basic premise of our uh, legal and political systems. Not one word about economic or financial literacy. Not one single word about military history. Apparently, they're okay if kids graduate from high school never having heard about Juno Beach or Dieppe or the Battle of the Atlantic or Vimy Ridge. So I, I think this is deeply troubling. So um, I can tell you this. We'll wait and see what the final outcome is. But my inclination would be to uh, repeal the NDP curriculum uh, changes and... Uh, do a review from square one uh, to ensure that the education system is very focused on the transmission of critical knowledge and skills to equip young people for success in the future and also to equip them with the ability to think uh, critically so that they can uh, come to their own uh, conclusions on moral, political, and ethical questions. We need to teach young people how to think, give them the basic knowledge with which to think, but not to tell them what to think, uh, in, and certainly not in a politically loaded fashion. If you have other ideas about, and by the way, another way that we can in, counteract this creeping politics in the classroom is through a strengthening of our tradition of school choice, where parents get to choose the form of education most suited to their children. This recognizes the uniqueness of every child and the value of, of this uh, pluralism of many different choices in our education system. Because uh, if you have a plurality of choices, then you can ensure that you're, you're you know, you can pick a program that, that responds to the unique aptitudes or interests of your child. I think that's one of the ways to keep the whole system more accountable as well through the kind of positive internal competition of school choice, which has helped to lead Alberta to have some of the highest uh, standardized test score outcomes in the developed world. One area, however, Patricia, where we are now lagging, as you, in, as you indicate, is in mathematics. We have seen a, a troubling decline in numeracy or what you might call math literacy over the past decade in standardized test scores, uh, it, it, starting directly from the moment that discovery math was introduced into our schools as a method of instruction. So I think we need to, and I will give some credit to Minister Egan for having taken initial steps to undo the catastrophe of discovery math, uh, but we do need to return to tried and tested 
methods of instruction as opposed to pursuing uh, pedagogical fads that end up treating pupils like uh, guinea pigs.